Hey guys, new hair guy level here. And today we're gonna be talking about how you can blow up on Twitch by using Twitch clip compilations. All right, I got a new haircut, big deal. So I'm gonna try to keep it short. We already talked about the importance of highlights. We also talked about uh, Twitch clips and how beneficial it can be for a streamer. But there's a little something happening every single day that is actually bringing in a lot of viewers to some streamers. And I'm talking about Twitch clip compilations. Now, I'm not talking about your own compilations. This is not you taking a bunch of clips from your channel and making a montage. Those don't really, really work, at least not as well as what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is independent YouTube channels that are dedicated to make highlights of everything interesting that's happening on Twitch or on YouTube combined. A lot of people don't have the time nor the energy to watch every single Twitch stream. So what they do is usually they are subscribed to a channel on YouTube that will kind of wrap up everything interesting that happened during a day, during the week, during the month on Twitch and YouTube. So if you guys aren't aware of all this, I can suggest one channel that I follow called Streamer TV. I have no affiliation with them, but I simply think that they're the best in the business they actually put some effort into the editing and they wrap up everything nicely showing what big streamers are doing but also if something interesting happens with a small streamer there are also some twitch drama youtube channels only dedicated to talking about people who have been banned and the reasons why also to keep up uh, with some feuds in between streamers now how can you as a small streamer benefit from that you might be asking because every compilation that those channels put out they get a ton of views and if your clip ends up in one of those compilations a lot of people People will think oh this channel is interesting enough noting that usually they put a clip that is interesting so it's gonna get everyone curious and a lot of people will actually go and try to find your channel now of course the more interesting your clip is the more people will come into your channel another channel that does that is Kotaku on YouTube um, they have a specific playlist on this thing called highlight reels and you can actually submit your clips to them and it doesn't matter if you're a big streamer or a small streamer as long as this, the clip is interesting they will feature it so a lot of people know me and they know that I always say no one cares about your gameplay. But if you have some amazing things that happen during your streams, first of all, you need to make sure that your chat clips it or you clip it yourself or you go back and watch the VOD and you clip it. So what I would do is that the particular game that I'm playing, if something happens and I have a clip of it, I will find every single YouTube channel that does montages and compilations of this particular game and I would submit it on top of Kotaku and other channels and trust me there's a lot of them and I already know what you're thinking you're thinking oh my god if I get like I don't know six kills in a game and I show that I'm the best player ever maybe that's what I need to submit it doesn't have to be that if you find a glitch in a game if you have a funny moment in the game anything anything that is interesting you can submit to those channels and they will feature you. Now imagine if you stream a lot, I'm guessing there's consistently at least one clip per week where you're gonna have something funny happen, something interesting, something completely MLG. So if you keep on being featured on those compilations that each video get like 11,000 to 500,000 views, you're basically having a new source of viewers. You will have people coming in from YouTube to your channel because I'm guessing most streamers advertise on Instagram on Twitter let's say on Facebook groups uh, maybe on snapchat but doesn't have a lot of reach so that's five places where people see other streamers do the same thing over and over again if you add that sixth place that is YouTube where it's only the best clips that those people see from you that will get them curious and they will come and follow your stream and that's pretty much all there is to it get those viewers in <laughs> alright before I let you go two things first thing is that I put up a brand new overlay pack animated overlay pack on my gumroad page that's gumroad.com slash get level it's called sharp razor it was inspired by the the razor brand of, of products like loosely second thing my friend Jim Panada just wrote an article about five tips for small streamers you guys need to go check it out that's jumpinata.com if you want to talk to me shoot me a message at level photo other side i never get used to it or you can follow my twitch channel that's twitch.tv slash get level thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time get level out